I'm Dave Grills and welcome to Man vs. Dave vs. Wild. We're here in the rugged tundra of northern Minnewaska, which is a very, very wild place. And I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is because it would frighten you. But anyways, I was just dropped 2,300 feet from a helicopter. We don't have a budget for parachutes. First thing you do when you get into the wilds, you need to find a water source. And it looks like I've found one. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, a wild David. The wild David Harris has no fear of death. Alright, I'm gonna go to, to the side because. He grunts with exertion. Oh, look, the David made it. Nice thing about being Dave Grills. If you can do things like that, it's still live another day. Survival in a harsh climate like this is often not something that's easy. We can see here a native Minnewaskan Indian goes to great lengths to get a rock to break ice for ice fishing. Minnewaskans are very trained in climbing and have been doing it for millions and millions and millions of years. Go for it. I can now fish through for ice through that hole. When I'm trying to survive in the wild, I always try to make sure that I eat from the five basic food groups, namely brushes, trees, shrubs, little mammals, and ice. So I have this popsicle, it's like a natural popsicle, except you don't need a, a half pence to, to buy it. Delicious! Stop rolling, stop rolling. Alright, let's go. It's getting cold out here. Sometimes in a harsh climate like this, everything can become too much for you psychologically. And the only way to deal with things is to do something that takes your mind off the pain and the terror of being in such a harsh climate. For me, it's frolicking. Frolicking is something that helps me get my mind off the terrible things that I'm going through, and it helps to do it shirtless. Frolic! 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 Unfortunately, after frolicking, the cold only becomes worse. Sometimes the only thing to do is calisthenics. <sighs> Or I can put my clothes back on. I'm Dave Grills. Off the top layers. You have to yell and thrash around. It only works in the freezing cold weather, the harsh winters in the northern New York. Okay, ready? You gotta do massive push ups. There we go. All hydrated. In 2007, an entire Boy Scout troop was killed when a bunch of bicycles just like these plummeted and fell right on their heads. This is an important part of survival is knowing your options. One of my options could be to go underground and stay there forever. So here I go. Into the past. 